to your lordships, we had uh, we'd like to address as many issues as we can because we won't have this. Uh, first, your lordships, they had asked us why ask for a license. Now, your lordships, the defendant industry, that is prudent industries, has been a very established need in the Indian market since 1920. That is almost 95 years at this point. Your lordship, one does not get to the position like TI has gotten simply by stagnation. It is not our contention that their product Zico or for that matter is not one that is technologically advanced. Asking for a license was merely so that the company could broaden its horizons and so that it could include technological, uh, that it could incorporate technological changes. Uh, secondly, your uh, lordship, uh, by my understanding, their major uh, rebuttal on this point was about government imposed restrictions to import, which is why they are not being able to meet any of the... Uh, by saying that, are you not calling an argument against yourself? Saying that they rejected your uh, licensing on the technical know-how and still you are able to manufacture the separate Indeed, not your lordship. It is not our contention. Are you not calling for an argument against yourself? Indeed, not your lordship. It is not our contention that uh, our technical know-how is not as good as theirs. We are merely stating that their product is technologically advanced. It is not our contention that ours is not. It is simply a slightly different variation of the same is our contention. Uh, as for the import restrictions, your lordship, as I have stated before, it is not our contention that uh, the import restrictions, that the fact that import restrictions have been placed on them is not detrimental to them or it does not cause any harm to them. However, your lordship, import restrictions have been placed unless they are arguing that import restrictions be completely uh, uh, taken away or be completely removed, they have not much addressed the fact of how they are expecting to meet the requirements of the people. The fact of the matter is milk separated or a drug uh, or the fact that it's used in a drug. We have to understand that uh, if there is a public demand, then a person has a right to infringe the patent or trademark. Indeed, not your lordship. <coughs> However, public demand is a very crucial uh, element in granting a compulsory license. So, our uh, contention, your lordship, is that there is a demand. They clearly cannot meet the demand, which is a real shame that the import restrictions do not allow them to do so. But the fact of the matter is that no matter how pitiful it may be, that cannot be taken as a statutory right to not grant a compulsory license. People require milk separators for the product and they cannot be given, uh, they cannot produce the same. Hence, we should be granted a compulsory license. Also, I believe that uh, the contention of my uh, co counselor was slightly misunderstood. In the Ally Walker case, what he meant to say was Section 107 was not brought into the argument at all. And that is why the case is taken as permanent. Uh, also, your lordship, uh, our contention is not that uh, we did not have the uh, technical. Thank you.